outside faces as well. That would be helpful. Um, so we can do ignore back facing now so that we don't select anything behind the object. We'll go into face mode and there's only not too many faces. down a little bit. Alright, we're going to hide these faces and we got the cool stairwell to look at. And we don't need that part anymore. So we can go ahead and select all those and only got half of them so make sure we're back facing this unchecked select again and then we can hide that all right um, let's go into vertice mode all right We don't need that one. And right now we're going to work up upward from the bottom. So this is going to take a lot more time than the outside walls did. We're going to select these. Um, just click selected. Let's make sure we're in target mode. Drag up. Select these. And it might be smart to do ignore back facing here. That way we don't accidentally grab anything back here that we didn't mean to to, to grab. That would stink. Majorly. So we're gonna click selected there. And it if you have trouble like where you're zooming in, you can always press Alt and then zoom in. With, uh, by rolling the middle mouse button and that makes it a lot easier uh, you have to right click to get out of that mode and obviously I have screwed up undo I have to have the target selected alright I find it easier to do the selection mode and columns like that, but you can always just uh, do them one at a time and in an upward fashion. It's just a little bit, a little bit more time consuming. There we go, and we're working our way under the steps. All right. That should be about it right there. Okay. So now we can... I've got to pan over to the left side of the place and then on the inside left click and drag over. I'm panning again, rolling, panning, you know. That's how you have to, to get around your object get where you want to go. Alright. Selecting those. It's just a matter of repetition for this whole thing now. This is all we're going to do. Selected. Pull that up. I've kind of got this at a weird angle, so I can 
roll it down and over again. And I'll get us around to the steps and then go a couple steps up or to the start of the steps, if that made more sense. We just have to do this for every level of steps all the way up to the top of the lighthouse. So it'll take maybe an hour or so at this rate. We're not doing too bad. Yeah, that was a hard one to get right there. Okay, so we're around to the steps now again. And basically, it's the same concept. We don't want to touch any of the edges when hitting the selection weld. And I'll just have to work my whole way up this. But it's a, it's a good board to learn how to do this on. I say board, a good, uh, good object to work on. And when I'm done going all the way around to the top, uh, I'll, I'll unpause it. And also, uh, you really don't want to touch any of the verts on the steps at all. They're pretty good, so we're not going to worry about anything there or we'll screw them up. That's pretty much as optimized as they can be. So, Like we wouldn't want to drag this vert down here and so on all the way around. I mean, alright, so let me pause this. Alright, so uh, We've done a lot of work, and I'm almost done here. And we're just still doing the same process. And this is really all that optimizing is, is just getting rid of uh, tons of triangles so that you can have better game performance. You can actually see the... Uh, the triangles we have selected here, and then we're deleting them by welding the vertices together. Alright. We're getting close, getting close. I'm glad to be almost done with this. <laughs> be a great tutorial for you to work on, uh, especially learning how to zoom in and out of objects if you're not familiar with that. 
or if you've had trouble zooming in and out, this will help you uh, learn how to get down into where you want to go. You know. Okay. I got a couple, couple little things I've missed. Uh, we'll go ahead and unhide all the verts. And finish these up here. down there as well. Alright. I believe that's about it. Work our way up here. Make sure. Okay. So now we can unhide all our faces as well. Okay. And uh, let's see how well we did that. We have 2,168 faces. And. Ooh. 1,000 birds. So we've saved ourselves 15,000 faces by going in here and optimizing. And uh, the way everything's set up, you know, it's not too hard to go back and test light later to work with some of the areas. But all right. Uh, this ends my tutorial on optimizing. Um, we'll have several more out, and maybe I'll try to make one on how I actually made this object. Uh, thanks for watching.